in my opinion, and I don't think I'm by myself, is undoubtedly the most detrimental exotic that was ever released into this country. Uh, they, of course, are crosses between domestic hogs and uh, European wild boar that have been brought in and introduced into this country. And they have just, they're very prolific, and they have just expanded everywhere throughout the South, all through Texas, all through Louisiana, Mississippi, I'm sure, and into Arkansas. And uh, it is a tremendous problem to control their numbers now. In fact, I don't think they can ever be eliminated. They can only be controlled. So that is a major management effort in Texas to uh, control uh, feral hogs. And uh, they are omnivorous. They eat anything. So they're very competitive with our native animals. They destroy crops. And uh, they, they render some pastures and what have you in pretty bad condition. It looks like they've been plowed in some areas where hogs have come in and eaten. And they're very wily. They they're, have become mainly nocturnal. And they're difficult to control and hunt. But it, it's, it's a popular sport. I'll add this, a gentleman named Mike Hughes, who processes and sells exotic game animals at Ingram, he has a company there. One day I asked Mike, of all the animals he processed and sold, which species did he sell the most of? And he said, feral hogs. <laughs>